Welcome to Animal A Day. Quick sea spider facts. The legs with a mouth. 1. Sea spider is the common name for those in the Pantopoda order. There are about 1300 species of these aquatic, long-legged spider-like creatures. 2. They're found all over the world in various ocean levels. Most are found on the shallow end, though some can be found much deeper. 3. They're a type of arthropod, but despite their name, they are not arachnids or true spiders. They are more similar to spiders than other arthropods like crustaceans and insects, though. 4. Their bodies consist mostly of legs. The 8 to 12 legs are attached to a minuscule abdomen in the middle. The leg lengths and species vary greatly, with some measuring less than 1 20th of an inch or 1 millimeter to more than 2 feet or 60 centimeters. Females are usually bigger. 5. Their legs aren't just for walking, they contain their entire digestive system. The system contains no organs besides thin tube-like intestines that contract to spread the nutrients around its innards. 6. A sea spider takes in oxygen directly through its skin. Then its digestive system moves the oxygen throughout its body by contracting, just like with the nutrients it takes in. Only sea spiders have this unique system, and it means the animal doesn't need lungs. It's called gut peristalsis. 6. They prey on jellyfish and stationary animals like sea anemones and sponges. They pierce a prey with their proboscises and slurp up its insides. The liquids combined with enzymes in the proboscis to start the digestion process. 8. Like the seahorse, male sea spiders take on egg hatching duties. Once a female lays eggs, a male will fertilize them and pick them up with special egg transporting legs called ovigers. He carries them until the babies hatch. 9. Generally, the deeper the organism, the longer its legs. Many of the biggest species have been found in very cold and deep waters. They can stay warm in these extreme conditions because they have a low surface area to volume ratio, which means they don't radiate out a lot of body heat. This phenomenon is called polar gigantism. And 10. On the opposite end, many tropical species would be hard to see with the naked eye. They are so incredibly tiny that their muscles contain only a single cell. If you've ever been in a lagoon, there's a high probability you've swam through them unknowingly. Thanks for watching. Now take that subscribe button to the zoo.